When I retired, I retired during the pandemic, which uh, frankly just sucked. I mean, this was like a first wave where you had pretty large volume of people that left because they could and um, they had been with the organization some of, you know, 30 years. And it was the only career they ever had was at Bell and Health. You're part of a community. You, you, you belong. And then all of a sudden, you don't belong. It was as if the minute somebody retired, they disappeared. All I thought was, we've had this great onboarding process. You come, you're welcome, you get mentors, you have processes, you are told over and over again how valuable you are. But we have a terrible offboarding process. When people leave, it's like, oh, hey, great, thanks. You know, here you go, <laughs> bye. The retirees who had spent their whole life there, you know, in that career, just felt a little disconnected. It was Laura Cormier who first contacted Chris Waleski. She had noticed that the retirees were gathering on their own in various groups to stay connected. And the one thing that she had heard was that they really missed hearing about Bellin and what's happening with Bellin and all the changes that were going on. I thought there's got to be a way that the retirees can benefit re from re-engagement but also Bellin can benefit from re-engagement. So uh, I brought it forward uh, to Chris Waleski. We met, she liked the idea. At that point, you know, we're all brainstorming and decided let's put a team together, let's put a steering team together to really figure this out. One of the first things I did was I went and attended a bunch of events, luncheons, dinners, breakfast, just kind of getting an understanding of what, what, what it was that they wanted. It was clear that they wanted communication, they wanted to be involved, they wanted to know what was going on, especially with the merger. Since then, we've, um, we have quarterly newsletters that we send out that are basically just information that you're getting as employees. We strategically did our first newsletter on a Friday afternoon on a snowy day, and it was remarkable. We had real-time constant contact, so we could see, once we sent it out, we could see real-time who was opening and how quick it was being opened. And it was, we, we broke all the records. It was like 70, 80% people opened it up in the first three hours. We had um, uh, Paul Valise and Jason Matson come and talk about all of the construction projects. Um, because that, people see that and they wanna know what's going on. They came and talked for almost two hours to retirees and gave a great presentation. So we've done that. Chris Waleski came and talked about the merger. We're going to try to move towards a social media platform instead of waiting and then we can post things immediately. We formed an internal operations group um, to help get things initiated and get uh, things working through the system. We have a retiree advisory committee with four retirees sitting on it and Don McColl leads that. People are feeling much better about having been part of Bellin now. You couldn't get a better advocate in the community for Bellin Health than one of our retirees. I think we've, we've made them feel more like they're still part of our Bellin family, and they are. I think what this group did uh, once the idea was brought forward was to uh, recognize that those people are still valuable to the system and should continue to be part of the community and belong to the Bellin community.